Okay, it's come to that moment. We've got the box on the table here, on the bench, ready to crack it open and uh, see what's inside. I think what we're going to find is a Movi M5 handheld stabilizer from Freefly. Notice the logo is a Movi. It's not real obvious the first time you look at it, but anyway, uh, let's open the box. This isn't going to be a full unboxing video, so we've already posted one of those. High quality foam packing material. Get rid of that. And there it is. So first impressions are that it looks uh, pretty nice. Everything looks... Uh, Yeah, it looks nice. High quality stuff. You know, my first impression with the Sinistar gimbals, uh, you know, from what I saw online, was that they were an assembly of parts that may have been intended for other uses, like the clamps, uh, the tubes and stuff. Um, but this looks much more purpose-built, as if every component was designed and engineered uh, for this unit itself. So that's my first impression. It's black. That's a second first impression, but... <laughs> um, what's really nice about this, I don't know if I've mentioned this yet, uh, they include a radio option for a second operator. In this case, it's a DX8, and the DX8 is already configured. The model is selected in the radio, it's configured for the Movi. It's all pre-configured. So, including stickers. I don't know if you could see that, but stickers on the radio for the different functions, which is just a level of detail, you know, attention to detail, um, which is very nice to find. I mean, you're paying for it, uh, but if you're doing this, if you're buying it for a professional application, uh, you want it to work. You don't want to spend a week configuring and reading through instructions and watching videos. You want to be able to just get it set up and have it ready to go. So that's what this is right here. This is a satellite for the DX8. So I'm just looking at that and saying, wow, that's a nice little detail that it's already configured. So here's the stand over on the side. This is what Tab was showing in the video. This was the first thing he took out. And you know, this packing material can be used if you're going to be traveling with it. Feels like there's some, and there are, there's bungees in there. Almost telling you where the tubes go, pulling them into place. But this packaging material, if you're smart, you'll hang on to it because the way they've packaged the gimbal, I mean, you could put this in a little wood case or a fiberglass case, and the way it comes in the box is the way it's going to travel. So it's just a matter of familiarizing yourself with the steps to efficiently get it out of the box and back up and running when you get to where you're going. But yeah, so let's uh, look at the stand, right? The stand, the stand in and of itself. Looks like somebody put some thought into it. Imagine that, stuff that works. Now, the tubes don't look like they have to be screwed into place. The clamps all look like they're relatively tight. Looks like there's maybe a little bit of room on this one. What do we need? We need an Allen driver. Just happened to have the right size. Oh yeah, there's a little clamping action in there. So we'll tighten those up. How about the top ones? Uh, the top ones are all the way. Hang on. You see the little fitting right there? There it is. So the top ones are already tight. So the tubes are pretty much where they are. So that's, let's pull this out a little bit. See my ping pong table in the background. And you know, the shop is pretty neat considering I've been building nonstop all week. Doing the multi impossible build, the shop should be a disaster, but uh, very early on in the build, I made a dumb mistake because I was rushing and it just occurred to me with the deadline I had or that I have, I needed to just calm down keep a clean shop and keep the build going. So that's what I've been doing. So uh, the stand, I successfully assembled the stand. 13 and a half minutes to go to match uh, 
tabs record. Paperwork, websites, quick start guide, always very helpful. Who wants to read the full instructions after all? Instructions on batteries and the battery charger. One question I have right now, how long does the stock battery last? That's a question I need to answer. Do I need extra batteries? I'm gonna to try to find that out before too much longer. We have a small box here, nothing in it. I promised this wasn't gonna be an unboxing video and I'm doing an unboxing video. Box is labeled accessories. I'm impressed by little details like that. It's a battery charger, cables, a battery, two batteries. See, they read my mind. You know, when a company reads your mind and they anticipate the things that you're worried about and then take care of those things before you really have a chance to worry about them, that's pretty cool. So it's got two battery packs. Hopefully that'll get me through at least the better part of a day, you know, provided that I'm flying a little bit and then repositioning and then flying a little bit more. In here we have some nice quality tools, labeled the name of the company on there. That's a nice touch. The gimbal looks like it's propped up on the cardboard and so I'm going to leave it at that. I would love to take it out right now. There's uh, some other things in here. This is the handhold. This is the handhold when you want to uh, hold it from the center top. I think what's on there right now is the dual, can you see that? Let's see. Yes, the uh, dual handhold. So I mean, come on, look at this. You just take it right out, <laughs> it's ready to go. That's pretty damn cool. Now there are other gimbals that are pretty much assembled out of the box like that. So um, I'm impressed with the overall quality of it. I'm impressed with the organization. Uh, I did watch the videos. I watched a few of them. So I'm pretty familiar at this point. I know what I'm getting into. I know what the steps are after getting it out of the box. So uh, I do have some, familiar, some level of familiarization. I'm not taking it out and seeing it for the first time ever. Um, but at the same time, I'm feeling pretty optimistic from what I saw in the video, from what I've uh, heard from a couple of new owners. Uh, I'm feeling optimistic about this. And so just for a quick preview, what we're going to be doing with the helicopter, we're going to be removing this handle assembly at these four points. There's four screws here. And uh, those are technically screws because the threads are going into another material. When there's a nut on the other side, then it's technically a bolt. So these four screws come out, this handle assembly comes off and then that X-shaped plate bolts to that and then the gimbal just right underneath the helicopter. And there's some landing gear legs that are going to attach. That is what these are. These have been sitting off to the side since that first moment, Monday night, when we took the piece out of the box to see what we were dealing with. But these are the leg assemblies, carbon fiber, and uh, some molded plastic attach points. Look very Sinistar-ish. But, you know, if it worked, they've had years to perfect it at this point. It's been a pretty common system for the last couple of years, so I imagine they're, they're confident that it's a good enough product to, to keep using that design. Extra tube just to uh, finish up the multi-rotor mount. So that's the unboxing video, and uh, I'm going to play with this tomorrow a little bit more. I'm going to get it up on the stand. I'm going to mount a camera to it. I'm going to balance it, try to get it tuned do some handheld experimenting with it. I've uh, got some more Cub Scout duties to do this weekend, so uh, tomorrow evening I'll be occupied with that and then back into it on Sunday. And between flying the helicopter, getting familiar with the camera mount and tuning it, uh, I think I'm still on schedule. So if you've been following this from Monday night and you know what the backstory is, uh, we're forging ahead. I don't see any reason to stop, call it off. Uh, I think we're still, you know, all systems go. All right, so that's it. Have a great night. Thanks again for watching. Uh, moving right along with the Movi M5 review and microcopter uh, 
build thread. Multi-impossible, we're calling it, because we're on a schedule. All right, have a good night. Enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye.